Yeah. Mm. Great. So, festival study, Shao No One, the first in what we hope is a series of arts festivals in Llandidno. Interestingly, um, and I do think this is interesting, the idea for an arts festival came from a commercial partner, Muslim Estates. And that's because they're really keen to develop the town's reputation and to bring in more visitors. This is the, these are the main protagonists. That's Edward Hiller, Muslim Estates on the right, and Mark Rees, the curator of the festival on the left. A couple of unlikely lads, I think. You know, suited and not chalk and cheese, um, but they sort of got together and actually do very much like it now after a slight, oh, are we going to get on sort of start? Um, so the commercial idea came first, Moss and Estates at the top, and then we um, actually developed a whole range of partners. Um, Helvergel, very important, Moss and Oriel Mustin, very important. They're all very important, Venue Cymru, and they all contributed different things and they were all on the steering group. So some contributed venues and some programme. The theme of Fano One was the presence of absence because it was about looking, using the Victorian splendour, faded, um, to see what was there and to have make new interpretations of it. <laughs> and this is a disused hotel. It's been shut up for ages. Boston Estates were instrumental in reopening it. The bathing machines were the heart of the festival. Um, Mark Rees decided he wanted, you know, they were Victorian, they were built to the Victorian specifications, they were there in numbers on Flandidno Seafront, and um, artists were commissioned to put work into each of them. There were six bathing huts on the prom. Uh, free, everything was free, so people were very welcome to come in and try. Um, the mug on the top is because one of them was about taking photos and putting them onto mugs, a very simple sort of idea, but people loved it. On the right, it's the Time Travellers machine, you'll see them shortly. And then we actually had a beaver scope, which was in a camera obscura. In this particular festival, we ended up with three camera obscura. Normally, there's not even one open. Um, we had lots of interventions. Uh, Mark is a great programmer in that he, <coughs> he really puts very strange things together, and they work. The time travellers have the mirror ball heads on. They were Victorian time travellers stuck in the 70s. They kept singing 70s hits from time to time. <laughs> um, kitchen sink were there in, intervening. Um, we had uh, Desiree Palmen from Berlin. Mark Reese on the left there is wearing one of the costumes, which has, I, I describe them as children sewn into them. That's not true. It looks <laughs> sort of, you know, I don't mean that. You get the idea of it then. <laughs> and then we actually had Queen Victoria. Mark Reeskin on the right with a nine foot tall Queen Victoria. The installations, um, a little more serious, shall we say, than the interventions, um, using disused spaces in the main. Uh, Helva Gelv took over a house and it became House of Helva um, with lots of different artists um, who did uh, amazingly different things. It was a real cornucopia. Best Revisions was the Royal Cambrian Academy and then the Tidno Hotel, which had been shut up, became um, picking up on a strand from Llandidno and here this is lots of shots of Helva Gelv um, with light installations, cut wood carving, um, all sorts of music, movement, film. Um, we did have some performance because of course it's a festival and we need a little bit of performance. I put the film in here, Jaws, it's not a performance strictly speaking I suppose but it's sort of a performance <laughs> um, and that was hugely popular on the prom, how did we manage it? No rain, no wind, wind just died. And then people went from there to actually listen to a poet um, declaiming medieval Welsh verse, so a real mixed bag. And this uh, was Eddie Ladd on the top photo in, in again, a disused chapel, very significant chapel in Flandidno. We had dance on the prom, and we had a crown the crooner competition for the hotels. We did try and involve as many of the different segments of Llandidno as we could. Young people, we worked with Mostyn's Kilk, it's the Tate sort of group, the ninjas, and um, they participated in the fire veranda, which was outside Mostyn on the Sunday, <coughs> where people could just set up a store. And they were wonderful, and they had their um, darling moustaches and uh, did portraits of people, walk up portraits, which was great fun, and went down a store. Um, the audience, um, just to tell you what happened, actually not surprisingly came primarily from North Wales, um, but there were a lot of tourists as well, who obviously were from all over the country who happened to be there, real range of ages, and lots of quite elderly people trying contemporary art, which was brilliant. So, and these are the figures, 8,000 event visits, I'm not saying 8,000 people, we think about 5,000 
four and a half, five. Interestingly, 10,000 Facebook visits, but only 2,500 website visits, so that tells us something about the way life's going and where you need to spend your time. Um, JAWS was really popular, and uh, the camera obscura, because they never normally get in there. They really like getting into closed buildings. It was a real draw for people. Media coverage was fine. I got an email from the BBC afterwards apologising for not covering this more. That's the fat lot of <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, I think they realised that it had been quite a special weekend and they should have been there, so yes. And the lessons, well we should have started earlier, you know, we should have had more money, <laughs> what, do, what can I say? The usual lessons, we should have uh, used Facebook and Twitter earlier and more extensively. Um, we had a very complicated festival map that made people go cross-eyed when they looked to it, it wasn't great. <laughs> and, um, the, actually, the newspaper distribution worked really well, which I was surprised at. And these are the comments about the festival. People really wanted to see it again, and they really felt it gave and didn't know something it didn't have. And that's really what we wanted to prove um, from, from all the events that were put on. Um, so that was good to hear, that they did appreciate it. And then that's actually my final si slide. Does Piano 1 equal or become Piano 2? Application into the Arts Council as we sit here. <laughs>